saying Latinos support D. Trump. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it. Rivas, who owns Sammy's Mexican Grill in Arizona, says she has received threats and menacing phone calls after Trump pulled her up on stage during a rally on the weekend while she is holding up a sign that said Latinos support D. Trump. Surprise to me, he said, I love you, darling. Rivas told local media about meeting the GOP frontrunner. Donald Trump was a little funny, and he said, come on, come on, and I go up on stage. and say hi and that's it. Restaurant owner thought her encounter with billionaire businessmen would simply be a good story to tell her friends, but word of her appearance on, with Trump and her sign spread over Facebook and the comments soon as followed. Their calls for boycotting Sammy's Mexican Grill along with other more threatening notes and then people started haranguing her over the phone. This is not freedom of speech. This is harassment and it is illegal. And you can bet the American Sandinistas are behind it. Bad messages came today in the morning when it started when I come to the, here to the restaurant. The phone is ringing, stupid things only. Rivas, who is from Mexico, says she doesn't want to be viewed as racist She, and that she supports the Latino community. She added that besides going to Trump rally, she also attended an event for Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, a Democratic presidential candidate. I want to tell the Latino community that I'm not racist. I love Mexico. I'm a Mexican. Reeves said, I never thought Donald Trump would have called me up to say hello. Well, there you have it. You know, this woman is inexcusably being harassed by the American Sandinistas. I told you, these people are vicious. They have no morality. They have no... They're not as bad as ISIS, but... Uh, they have no morality. They have no scruples. And they'll stop at nothing. They are interfering in the election, and they should be arrested. It's as simple as that. When you peacefully protest and you sing your little songs, that's one thing. But when you're intimidating people, that's quite another. That cannot be allowed. It has to be punished. Of course, seeing who we have in the office in the White House, it's not going to be punished. I run a fax Mars. I feel for this woman... I live in sunny western New York State, so I can't go to a restaurant, or I would, just to tweak these people. They can go to hell. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the law not being enforced. I'm tired of these people thinking they have some sort of moral imperative to go after Trump. No, they don't. You can speak your mind on political issues all you want. I don't care. But when you're harassing and threatening people, blocking roads, you've broken the law and you deserve to be punished. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.